updated report on the cost of apartment rents in Colorado Springs comes out tomorrow, and for many tenants, it is the same old story. Housing continues to get more expensive, but the number of options and alternatives isn't keeping pace. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live downtown tonight where a new apartment complex recently opened on Nevada. But Scott, that's one of only a handful of new projects around town. Yeah, guys, but there aren't enough of them to keep up with the current demand. And that's the problem. Builders aren't building new apartment complexes like this one fast enough. We're asking why and what's the solution? Cindy Davis has had enough. For the second time in a year and a half, her rent is going up. I was already paying what I thought was kind of my top dollar. So then that kind of freaked me out and I said, you know what, I might want to move because I don't want these rents to keep going up. Davis and many other tenants are part of a continuing trend. According to a new report by apartmentlist.com, rent costs have increased 9% in the past year. The fastest growing in Colorado, but only 10th overall in the state. Not as expensive as cities like Denver or Boulder. No, Apartments, etc. This is Janet. Apartments, etc. may be the only business in town that tries to help people find apartments. Lately, it hasn't been easy. Kind of stressful, actually, trying to find places for people to live that's affordable and even available. I'm hoping it goes down within a year or two yeah. because right now everything is the highest I've ever seen it in the 26 years I've done this. And experts expect rents to keep rising for the near future. Denver currently levies what's called an impact fee on all new construction with the goal being to provide a pot of money to build more apartments and affordable housing. But the local apartment association says that kind of a fee can have the opposite impact of discouraging that kind of construction. So what's really needed are more true incentives for builders and developers. But renters like Davis need options now. Her lease expires in two months. People are desperate. I'm desperate. And it's just so sad that I make a decent living and I can't live in Colorado Springs by myself. Now next week, in two scheduled meetings, the city will meet with builders and developers to discuss what can be done and how soon it can be done to resolve the situation. We'll keep you updated. We're live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.